This program is rated PG. It is suitable for children ages 8 and above, but parental guidance is advised as it might contain mild violence and mature situations. The tradition of gifting flowers on Valentine's Day dates back to the 17th century during the reign of King Charles II of Sweden and still dates on till now. But what informs the choice of flowers you would give to that special someone on Valentine's? Tonight on the Style Project, we sort that out for you. Hi Jamila, thank you so much for having us. Hi Bettina, I'm glad to have you here. Wow, this is a nice place you've got here. Thank you. Why flowers on Valentine's? Oh, flowers make someone feel so special on Valentine's Day, especially if you receive it from someone who is so dear to you. Like, I'm sure you've received some flowers from Mrs. Lila Petals before. I felt so happy when I got them. It was my very first time yeah. knowing about um, Miss... Mrs. Lila Mrs. Lila <laughs> But why the flower business and give us a little bit of background, uh, the inspiration behind Mrs. Lila Petals. I received flowers when I traveled to Dubai. I got a package from my friend and it was packaged in a luxurious way. So I was like, why don't I bring this same packaging in a luxurious form to Uganda? We have roses, mostly. The roses uh, symbolize of love, especially the red roses. And uh, different kinds of flowers, the hydrangeas, the astomeria, tiger lilies. So mm -hmm. someone has to choose flowers depending on the mood. And then the roses as well. Someone chooses the color of the roses depending on what someone wants to symbolize that very day. For example, the yellow rose for a brighter day, the red rose for love, especially now in Valentine's, we need the red rose to come in to symbolize love. Okay, mm -hmm. I see you have different arrangements right here and the arrangement I received was more in a vase format. Okay. Tell us about the different arrangements you have and what do they symbolize? Uh, the box arrangements mostly symbol symbolize a luxurious way of styling then the vase that you received actually lasts longer. Let's yeah. say you want to put it at home in your office desk so you can look at it longer. Uh, for It lasts like for seven days. Okay. Yeah. And I've seen the heart-shaped boxes as well. The love-shaped box is right here. As you can see, it's the our best seller during Valentine's. So everyone wants the heart box because it symbolizes love, affection, that romance, mm -hmm. yeah. Do men receive flowers as well? <laughs> yes, they do. Actually, a lot of men receive flowers from here. They receive something as small as this. This is called our baby Missy. Most people gift it to their men. And you can attach it with gifts mostly and just a little touch of flowers. Let's throw more light on the kind of colors that you would gift to say your girlfriend, your mother, or your best friend? Okay, so uh, we have different kinds of roses that we can gift. For example, the red rose, mostly this symbolizes love. You can give it to your girlfriend, even your new girlfriend, to show them that you love them too much. Okay. And then the, the white rose, the white rose mostly symbolizes friendship and all that. Then for for a mom, you can mix it up, you can spice it up with different colors, yellow, red, anything. And then we also have uh, this kind of roses for, look at this. Um, this is so Instagrammable. I would yeah. buy this for myself, not yeah. for Valentine's. Not for Valentine's. But for myself, just to yeah. post on my Instagram. This is actually good for like inf influencers oh. if someone wants to post it and look flashy. So chic, yeah. We also have the red rose. Actually, these are infinity roses. They last three to four years. So you can keep it in your bedroom, anywhere, your office, and then you look at it all the time. 
what would you recommend for our Ugandans aside from roses and also any other kind of flowers that you would recommend for would, Valentine's? For Valentine's, <laughs> yes, I would recommend uh, different kinds of flowers. For example, Ugandans use a lot of roses, which is not ideal. The only thing for Valentine's, we have different types of flowers, the special ones, we call them special. The hydrangeas, astomerias, the tiger lilies, so most of Ugandans use roses a lot, but we can also mix it up with different roses, astomeria, name it, yeah. And aside from roses and flowers, there are different things you could gift a loved one on Valentine's that you do have here. Yes, we have a variety of things, let's say candy, chocolate, teddy bears, balloons, someone can just decide to give you a balloon bouquet. Nice. So, yeah, it's That's also exciting, just a yeah? symbol, symbol of love as well. So we have candles as well, scented candles. You can light it up in your bedroom. And then perfumes, body splashes, name it. We have a lot of things, plenty of stuff for you to give to your loved ones on Valentine's. This gift is sort of, a, we call it a memory package. Memory package. Yeah. Okay. It tells a story of what someone wants to tell to their loved ones. For example, it comes like this. Someone opens it. We can put words here, depending on what the person wants to drive, what message they want to drive. Mm -hmm. So can put words there, and they keep on opening. They open. They open. Wow! So look all at this that. <laughs> is a story to tell. This is something I would gift to somebody very special <laughs> yeah. because the price is not really cheap. And the pictures, <laughs> you have a lot of memories together. Even memories. Yeah. It so could be you. And the candy. And the candy as well. And then one rose, it could also be for a man because it has few flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, interesting, interesting. Yeah. And how have you managed to penetrate the market? Because in Uganda, it's kind of tricky to go through the market, people are not acceptive of such extravagant things. But somehow, everybody knows about Mrs. Lilac Spetos. I've tried to put up unique things okay. with the market. I always do something extraordinary. And then I use, um, I use a lot of social media to market my things. I use influencers. Yes, because I yeah. saw a photo shoot of you and Mwat Ahmed, who yeah. is one of Uganda's top influencers. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> if I would want to play something for Valentine's. It's Sunday. Yeah. How can I reach you? Uh, you can reach us through social media platforms. Instagram, it's Mrs. Lilac Petals. Facebook, Mrs. Lilac Petals. And then they can call us on 0703-995279. Okay, that's not her personal number, guys. It's for the business. <laughs> <laughs> I will right. definitely be putting in my Valentine's order. Yeah. Very 